One fateful night, my parents gave their lives for me. They became my heroes, their legacy untouchable. Until I learned the truth. My father, Thomas Wayne, was a criminal. He ruled over Gotham from the shadows. And everything I thought I knew about myself changed forever. The children of Arkham exposed the truth about my father to Gotham. Their attack turned friends into enemies and threw the city into chaos. I was committed to Arkham Asylum, where I escaped with the help of a mental patient named John Doe. After a bloody battle, I put an end to it all in the catacombs beneath the city. The Penguin, Two-Face, and Lady Arkham were the first real challenge I faced as the Batman, but they would not be the last. Spring has arrived in Gotham, and with it comes City Hall's quarterly crime report. Crime is way down since the fall of the children of Arkham, marking another triumph for newly minted police commissioner James Gordon. In a statement this morning, Gordon credited his success to the public partnership between the police and the Batman. He praised the mysterious vigilante for his sacrifice, describing him as essential to the security of the city. Things are looking up, citizens. After the long, dark winter comes the thaw. Now, if only the Knights could win a game, everyone would be happy. Lucky 13! There it is. Rumi Mori. Import-export magnet. One-time Pipex CEO. International arms dealer. The world sees Maury as a legitimate businessman. A philanthropist who gives to charity. Not a criminal getting rich off the suffering of innocence. A masterful performance. I wonder if a man hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? What do you think, Master Bruce? Must be hard to stay true to yourself. I don't. I never forget what drives me. Protecting the innocent from people like Maury. That stays the same no matter what mask I wear. Don't I know? Masks are hard to maintain. If there are cracks in Maury's, we'll find them. The GCPD already bugged his penthouse and found nothing. Meaning that if he's doing arms deals in Gotham... They happen on the casino floor. I need to find a way to hear what Maury is saying. Standing by for support. Look for something with a microphone. The bat computer can intercept his communications. Consumer model. Could be a good way to hear Maury's conversation. Hotel security are guarding him particularly close. A man like Maury counts more enemies than friends. I wonder why that is. Al, I'm hacking into Maury's phone. Encrypting your signal. Last thing we want is for him to know you're here. We're in. You should be able to pick up audio from Maury's phone. Is everyone enjoying themselves? Don't worry. I won't tell anyone with a bad... He's on a roll. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before he gets too chatty. <laughs> Try to blend in. So, I've been sitting over there wondering, what's Bruce Wayne doing in a place like this? I figured you went to fancier casinos. I'm looking for something different. New thrills. Well, it's a good thing you're here. And it's a good thing I'm here. You? What in the hell are you doing here? Stop me if you've heard this one before. I begin and have no end. And I end all that begins. Who am I? I don't give a damn. I told you ten times. Our arrangement is over. Death, Maury. I am death. Something's happening, and it doesn't look like a deal. The man in the hood. I remember him from your father's time. I think that's Riddler. Is 
Is something wrong? You seem distracted. Bruce! You think your gibberish intimidates me? How about we go back to my place? Oh. I'll call my driver. Meet me outside? Well, since you put it like that, I never do this, you know. You know, me neither. No one threatens me in my own casino. Security! Sir, it's time to leave. For you? An easy one. What question can you never answer yes to? I don't give a crap, let's go. <sighs> Wrong. The correct answer is are you dead? Gordon know what's happening. Right away. Hey, no one leaves. in years. Well, he's putting on quite a show. There's a squad on the way. They'll be there shortly. Be ready for a fight. Make the deal. Anything you want. Our issues can't be solved with handshakes, Maury. This is what happens when you back out of a deal with me. There's only one way you're getting out of this alive. You have to solve a riddle. And I choose my words carefully if I were you. Listen closely. No, please, don't do this. Without fingers, I point. Without arms, I strike. Without feet, I run. Who am I? I've got visual. That drone fully functional. I'll need a place to drop in without being noticed. Time for some recon. It's a tricky one, isn't it? A mind bender that scratches at the very nature of our existence. The mere pondering of which. Cashier's booth. That'll do. Just need to take out the guard first. Casino patrons, innocent bystanders. Uh, they're clearly not his main target. Must be an insurance policy. It'll be that much harder to count your blood money. Some kind of torture device. Doesn't seem like he's getting out until he guesses the riddle. This Riddler certainly has an imagination. Riddler. A terror from the past. I never thought I'd see him on our streets again. He's not to be taken lightly. Audio playback fully functional. Time for distraction. I'm losing. 
losing patience, Maury. Are you expecting a hint? Give me an answer! Batman, we can't get in. The front's covered by gunmen and they've got the back barricaded with blackjack tables. How should I deploy when we're inside? I'm relying on your eyes and ears. What's the best course of action? We need a distraction. Find a way to limit their line of sight. Sounds like a plan. You're completely insane! No? I don't believe that's it. I'll clear a path. Wait for my signal. Give him hell. We're counting on you. Schedule. I'm a little busy right now, but I'll see if I can fit you in. Not him, the hostage! Shoot the hostage! I've heard stories in the streets about you, Batman. You're the biggest name in Gotham since... Well... Since I left town. Everyone's very impressed with you. I'm not impressed. Gotham's criminals have become zealots and thugs in cheap suits. And you... I've come home to find a wannabe in my chair. Eating my goddamn porridge! This is my city! You don't know me, Riddler. You have no idea what you're up against. You must think you're so special. You're not the first hero I've put down. You're supposedly the world's greatest detective. Yet here you are, completely Gordon, at my mercy. No. Not smart enough! Let me show you how it was done back in the day. Cheating. Think I care about your rules? 
I'd heard you were a man who followed a code. Why would you save that dirtbag's life? Maury made his money running guns, trading off the suffering of war. I believe in justice. Maury deserves a trial in a court of law. If he's guilty, his cell will be right next to yours. Justice? Ridiculous. Either way, you won't be the one to put me there. You know how to scrap. I'll give you that. But it's not enough. Let's see how you do with something a little more cerebral. Better hurry, detective. Solve my puzzle soon. Or people are gonna get hurt. And we know you can't let that happen. You should have called us before going in, Gordon. Waller? After all, we're here to help. Circuitry inside, but nothing obviously dangerous. The back computer will be able to analyze further. Your days are numbered, Bat Freak. We'll see each other again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Keep one eye on the sky, jerk offs. Heavens are gonna fall on your goddamn heads! Tell me all about it, down at the precinct. The Riddler's right hand in custody? Not a bad result, all told. Riddler used to leave clues at all his crime scenes. Always thought he was smarter than the people trying to catch him. Thought we could use help dragging him down. That's because he hadn't met me. That's for damn sure. You don't know how glad I am you're here, working with the police. Riddler's heyday was a dark time in Gotham. And what we just saw, he hasn't mellowed with age. Uh-huh. Get Fernandez on it right away. Commissioner Gordon! Brace yourself. Just so you know, this woman has a lot of juice with the governor. Rub her the wrong way, I could end up on foot patrol till I retire. My people are trained for situations like this, Gordon. We'd have Riddler in custody if you'd only picked up the phone. So, you're the legendary Batman. I've heard a great deal about you. So much so, I don't know if I should believe the hype. I haven't had the pleasure of an introduction, Miss... A pleasure, huh? Most people don't usually call it that. This is Amanda Waller, director of the agency. What are the feds doing here? Riddler's their case. The GCPD has been asked to open our doors to them. Give them whatever they need. We've been tracking that maniac for some time. No one knows more about him than we do. 
world-class criminals like Riddler, they're kind of our specialty. I've never heard of this agency. I'll take that as a compliment. We like to keep a low profile. <laughs> that means she operates from the shadows. As do you. Riddler used to be a player in Gotham back when Thomas Wayne and Falcone ran the city. He disappeared so suddenly and for so long, everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> everyone was wrong. Riddler's back, and if these theatrics are anything to go by, he wants the whole city to know. My people tell me you did some good work handling him, Batman. You and me? I bet we'd make a damn fine team. I heard how you dealt with Lady Arkham. Not to mention that filth, Oswald Cobblepot. We could do great things together if we joined forces. Whatever you think you can bring to the table, I don't need it. You knew me even a little, you wouldn't hesitate. Trust me, you want me on your side. The only real problem with your setup is who you're working with. Local law enforcement clearly can't cut. I got a local crime rate says otherwise. <laughs> Ms. Waller... Please, Commissioner. Tear gas. In a hostage situation, we got an ambulance full of civilians with their eyes swollen shut. Not to mention you let Riddler slip through your fingers. You GCPD cowboys clearly don't know what you're doing. You're putting all this on me? You're the commanding officer, aren't you? You can't put this on Jim. I called for a distraction. Then maybe you're not as impressive as I thought. I'm here to prevent this incompetence in the future. I gotta get a security detail on Mori while he's in the hospital. Agent Avesta will fill you in on what we know so far. As a token of interdepartmental cooperation. The nerve on her. Don't tell these people a thing, especially about that puzzle. This is our town. We're the ones that'll catch Riddler. Oof. I thought she was gonna bite your head off for a second. Uh, I'd like to see her try. Special Agent in Vesta, Field Intelligence Specialist on the Riddler case. And my partner, Agent Blake. How do you do? I put together this psychological profile of Riddler. You'll see when you read it. He's... changed. For your eyes only, <laughs> if you catch my drift. The target of the casino attack, Rumi Mori. Any idea what Riddler wanted with him? We figure it has something to do with why he's back in Gotham. He was asking about a riddle. What kind of riddle? Something about a mind bender that drove men to madness. Hmm, interesting. I've heard that before. Thanks, that's a help. I'm Gotham born and raised, you know. My dad ran a store in the shadow of City Stadium. I just wanted to say it's a real honor to meet you. I do have something I want to ask, though. The criminally insane. You're drawn to them, aren't you? There's something in you that pulls you towards the danger. The chaos. The energy. I don't like what you're insinuating. Uh, of course, I... Keep your pop's psych evaluations to Riddler and stay out of my head. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to pry. I think I know you a little better now. I'll be in touch. Agent. Batman, before you go, Gotham's your city. I respect that. But you should know, I don't have to play nice. I'm letting you hunt the Riddler for now. You better share everything you find. Or, this courtesy call is gonna become something you really won't like. You get me? There's a lot of ways this could go. I don't take kindly to threats, Waller.
an eventful evening. I have taken the liberty of preparing some refreshments. Uh, thanks, Al. I need to focus. Maybe music will help. Something with a beat. The computer is finished scanning the Riddler's puzzle box. It's ready when you are. Let's get to work. Explosives detected, no radioactivity. Nothing dangerous at all so far. Computer, run another scan. I want to be absolutely sure this thing is safe. Also, I took the liberty of digging up everything I could find on the agency. There's plenty here. Know your enemy and all that. It, it comes and goes. Ever since the kidnapping and, and all the other business with Lady Arkham. Alfred. <clears throat> no, no, don't you worry about me. No, I, I, I should be fine. It was worse after my first tour of duty. I can try. Why don't you take a break, Alfred? I can, I can do the homework without you. And leave all the fascinating reading to you? No, no I think not. It'll pass. Working always helps. The agency. The public face of a shadow committee of military leaders, intelligence experts, and government officials. Civil rights violations, domestic black sites, decentralized accountability. This information, it's all before Waller took over the director position. Perhaps she's given them a new direction. Maybe, but the agency's empowered to override local law enforcement with impunity. Oh, that man's got some competition in town. I wonder if we need be worried about losing our unpaid and thoroughly exhausting job, I mean. The Riddler's a flashy homicidal maniac with a thing for puzzles, and Waller and her agency might be just as dangerous. Again, Waller may be running a more ethical operation these days. Yes, Riddler terrorized this city long before you were Batman. Gotham's original costumed criminal. Yes, to have him returned, it's unsettling. I remember when he was the scourge of the underworld. Even Carmine Falcone gave him a wide berth. He was presumed dead for so long. Why come back to Gotham? Well, he seemed to have a prior relationship with Maury. Some kind of axe to grind. Let me upload the rest of this to the Codex. The agency realized Riddler was still alive when he orchestrated a prison break at Peña Duro. My men here say you let yourself get caught, Mr. Riddler. Just Riddler. Why willingly turn yourself in? Oh, Mr. Warden, to get everyone else out, of course. That wasn't obvious. The man's deranged. If you ask me, he needs help. He's clearly sick. The man is in urgent need of a doctor. I know just the place for him. Plenty of room at Arkham Asylum. Next to him, most of the inmates seem like a picture of health. What was that? You should see your face. Its confusion is delightful. I think I'll take it with me. I take everything back. Riddler 
this little gift is all about. Solve my puzzle soon, or people will get hurt. Uh, Riddler's M.O. hasn't changed in all these years. Riding engraved along the rim. I have an eye yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. Justice. How it relates to Batman, maybe. Lady Justice is blindfolded to show she's impartial. She has two eyes under the blindfold, though. Not one. So it's something else. He gave this to me at a casino. Card games. Maybe a jack. Specifically a one-eyed jack. But he's on the card twice, showing both eyes. Besides, he can still see. So it's probably not that. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Ah, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. Record needle. Halfway there, Batman. Means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be honest, you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself. Unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms. Something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound? What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll, uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually going to be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at White Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your daughter working alongside you. How wonderful. Uh, certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. I'll be at Wayne Town. Excellent. Glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to hear it, Regina. It's what I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. 
I just talked to the board and they couldn't be more pleased with how our partnership with GCPD is going. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the Arkham remodel. The Gazette's running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, this? No. This is just something for Lucius. I see. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick up this conversation this afternoon. Sounds great. You're in my chair. Just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop... Oh, no, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. how his mind works. This should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Huh. Well, would you look at that? A micro pulse waveform. Huh, the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Shouldn't take long. What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Tiffany? Hey, Bruce. My God, Tiffany. It's been a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. It's so hard to know what to get a man who has everything. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not bad. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is? And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... You look... Like, uh, someone who needs another four hours of sleep? That's because you work too hard. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a man who pretty much lives in his lab. Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like, whoever put it together is kind of showing off. Huh. Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. It's pretty cool, huh? I don't know if cool would be the word I would use. I can hear it hum. What does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Let me take a crack at it. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. All right, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. 
I heard he wasn't doing so well. That he was having some issues with his health? Oh, well, well, I'll let him tell you himself, but, uh, he hasn't been doing so great since the kidnapping last year. Oh, no. Yeah, every now and then his, uh, hands start shaking. <laughs> I'd like him to see a therapist, but you know Alfred. Well, maybe I can convince him. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If you're willing to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? Into the mission? We're going to need help. If we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. And we can trust her. You know how dangerous our business is. I couldn't live with myself if something happened to Tiffany. I'm just gonna have to say no. It's your secret to tell. Yes, it is. May I just say, uh, burdens are lighter when carried by many. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get done here. Keep me in the loop about that, uh, thing. Will do. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the Agency's Behavioral Analysis Unit. We just came by to ask a few questions. Is this gonna take long? It's not really a good time. I'm afraid this meeting isn't optional. You'll just have to put up with us for a few minutes. This office, it really represents you. Well, I like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh, what is it you want? The Agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Well, I'm sorry, I think you were in the wrong place. You see, I don't really consort with criminals, or international terrorists for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> really? Because our sources say otherwise. A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. They're not attracted to me any more than the average citizen. We live in one of the most dangerous cities in the world, right? Stands to reason I'd run into a few psychos. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. 
We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. John may very well say that, yes. But not you. A conversation in a mental hospital does not make us friends, much less close. I see. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. I was... I was trying to break up a fight. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Sounds like something a crazy person would do. Maybe you made an impression on him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. <laughs> and your point is what exactly? That I'm some kind of criminal mastermind? Or just really unlucky? You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. You've got the wrong idea. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking about? What did you figure out? I've, I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. <laughs> Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. <laughs> Lucius, please tell me what's wrong. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius. We really made a difference, didn't we? <laughs>